All right, welcome back to another video on Waveform version 12. In this video, we're going to cover the new Stereo Delay plugin. All right, so you're looking at the new Stereo Delay plugin in Waveform 12. All the plugins have been significantly reworked, and one of the most exciting ones is the new delay. And it's been redone to be exactly what you need for the most common delay applications in audio mixing. So we're gonna start, I'm gonna just show you what the controls are, and then we'll do some examples of what some of these things sound like. So when you look at it, it's two delay lines. We've got a separate delay line on the left and the right. And you can see that you can adjust the delay in milliseconds here up to 500 milliseconds. That's five seconds, which is probably a lot more than you need for most delay applications. Let's just listen to it a little bit. You can see I've got a little bit of feedback. It's panned, not completely wide. I'll explain those things in a second. But just to get an idea that you've got a delay on the left and a delay on the right, and they are not set to the same time. So I'm going to solo this guitar solo part and just play a little bit of this. All right, so what do these controls do? The left side is a complete mirror of the right side. Here sets the delay time. FB stands for feedback. This would be like the number of echoes on a typical delay. And then the, the next one here is cross feedback. What this does is it sends the feedback to the other delay line. So if I turn this up, then you start to get the ping pong effect. So I'm gonna set that up, make sure this is down. Turn these up a little bit more. I'm gonna pan it super wide here. And then we'll get our delay times on the left and the right. And then you should be able to hear it going back and forth. Let's make that a little more pronounced. So that's a really popular effect, and I really like cross feedback, but you can also do a feedback that will kind of keep the feedback within the same delay line. You also have a mix control in the middle that will put in how much of the delay effect that you'd like to mix in. This is a really good control that you might want to automate if you want to bring the delay in and out or duck it. Notice this control here, this little lock that's right next to the mix control. Most of the effects in version 12 have this mix lock. So if you want to put in the amount that you want to mix in like this and then change to a different preset, it won't change the mix amount. This is really important if you want to put this on an effects bus and create essentially a master effect bus or track. You can put the mix all the way up and then hit mix lock and then it won't change even if you load other presets. So that's the mix control. That's all of these controls up here. We have sync, but let's come back to that in a second. Each delay line in its column here also has a pan control. So if you want basically your panning to go 100% left and right, then you turn it here, or you can have it you know, slightly in or out like this. There's also a trim control so that you can adjust the level of each individual delay line or the level of each side. So you can start with zero dB, and then you can bring that down or up slightly. When working with delay, whatever you hear sooner tends to sound louder. So sometimes the, the side that's got the shorter delay, you might wanna turn it down slightly to get a more balanced effect. 
particularly if you're going for something where you're actually trying to create a stereo image. If it sounds like it's a little louder on one side and you want to balance that off, you can use the trim controls on both sides. Also have a convenient low cut and high cut. Basically, this is a high pass filter here and a low pass filter so you can make your delays more lo-fi. It's a really, really popular and common thing you want to do with a delay is take some of the fidelity out of it. If you put your delay kind of somewhere in between 300 hertz and 5,000 hertz, you get more of that vintage lo-fi, more of a tape effect. So apart from sync, that pretty much explains the plugin. Now if you want to do time synced delay effects, then you turn sync on right here. That replaces the delay knob with a musical function. And here you can choose from your more common and popular kinds of musical divisions. Like a really popular thing is to use a dotted eighth note. So we'll set a dotted eighth note here and maybe we'll set a quarter note on the other side. And we could do things like that on different kinds of instruments. If we actually put this on drums or maybe a rhythm guitar part, let's listen to our rhythm guitar part here. So that's an example of an eighth note delay. Let's do eighth note dotted, which is a preset. And you'll also notice that it comes mono because we've actually got it set the same on both sides. So both sides are doing exactly the same thing. If we change one of them, Let's just change it to, to a quarter note on the other side. And you get that really cool beat synced type of quality to it. So one more thing I want to show you is how to apply this delay as a master effect. So you'll see on this guitar solo channel, I'll go solo that again, I've already set up an aux send. You do this by adding a utility plugin. So I'm going to open the browser, go to search, and we'll just search for send. And under utility, this is a new feature here, the ability to go to a search tab in the browser, search for utility, and then aux send. So basically, to do this, you just drag that in to your track. I've already done that, so I've got aux send 2 set up here. And then you create a track which I have as guitar echo, you can see right here. And then you put the aux return. So if we search here for return, you can see aux return. You put that on the track ahead of your delay plugin. Then on the delay or whatever plugin, you want to turn mix all the way up and turn on the new mix lock button. That way you can try out all you know, different kinds of presets without changing the mix. We're going to do that here in a second. So first, I'm going to bypass the delay we've been listening to. Oh, the other thing is, is that if you have a track set up like this as a master effect, and that's right here, then you need to have this set up here like this solo isolate. So you click on the solo button like this and turn on solo isolate, and then when you solo something, it will also solo its corresponding effects. So with that set up, let's play back a little bit. And we'll turn up this. So then you can see here that we use the channel fader. If you have the mixer open, 
You can do the same thing here from the guitar echo fader. And I'll try some different things. So here's 80s guitar solo. And let's try a different one, beat sync stereo echo. All right, well, this is one of my favorite new features of Waveform 12. I think you're really going to enjoy and get a lot of use out of the new delay plugin that's built in to Waveform 12. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video very soon.